Hi everyone, this is Talia and Miana from Double Team and we haven't been here in a long time. It's been a, yeah. a month or something. It's been very busy for both of Sorry us. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both yeah. my schedule and Talia's schedule has been pretty mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's been kind of rough to like do it at the same time. And also whenever we manage, either the internet doesn't work or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's mostly yeah. Skype or the internet that gets in our way and then it doesn't work. And then afterwards we just normally call and it does work. So it's, it's like it's trying to piss us off or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah. Uh, we won't be making videos every Friday. So... Obviously. <laughs> It's going to be up whenever we want it to be online, probably in the weekend, so that will still be the same, but it won't be on Friday anymore. It can be, but it's not yeah. a set date anymore. So you'll like, just that's see. That's our objective. Just don't get pissed <laughs> off if it's not there because we've been trying really. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it's the internet really and time and work and all that stuff. So. We are trying our best. Yeah. The good news is Double Team is still a thing and, and we're not going to stop doing these videos because of that. Oh no, of course not. <laughs> um, yeah, so this week we're actually going to talk about the fall season because, uh, well, we were normally going to talk about visual novels, but obviously we don't really have much time to play games and stuff right now. So um, yeah. We're, we're just gonna discuss the fall season. <laughs> we'll so, discuss yeah. that eventually when <laughs> when we get around to it. Not right now. Besides, the fall season is happening. Everyone's been talking about that. So I think that's like the appropriate topic for yeah, this week. Exactly. And I just almost finished all of my first impressions. So. <laughs> Almost. Sally is a beast. <laughs> the video making beast is amazing. <laughs> if you follow my YouTube, you know I haven't done any first impression for the season, at least yet. <laughs> so <laughs> You'll get there. Eventually. I'll get everything out eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to start since you're like you've been working on that all about um, talking about one of the series that you want to like share with us um sure um well we have the obvious ones like fate <laughs> fate stay night and limited blade works that i'm very hyped about and it's very awesome we had like a extra episode episode zero which was pretty awesome and then we had fun we finally had a episode one last week well last saturday so I was very happy to see that and the quality is amazing because it's a UFO table so it's it's very good and then I can't wait to see the rest of it but yeah otherwise there's a lot of anime that I'm watching I, I have like 30 yeah. on my anime list right now and there's it might have been oh. that bad but I still have a lot then but again I don't have faith yeah so. You should watch more Fate. And before everyone gets on my case, <laughs> I am going to watch Fate. <laughs> I have nothing against it. It's just that I have watched anything from that franchise yet. So I want to like do it properly and start watching like the original Dean <laughs> version. And then like keep going and reach the current. <laughs> I don't get why you want to watch the Dean version though. Because, because if I don't, I'll never watch that version ever. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can, well, you'll be so happy to see the new one then. <laughs> I mean, yeah. when it comes to quality and all that stuff. And yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything. Yeah. I'm not going to say more about it. So yeah. yeah I, w I also want like the franchise to, to grow a little bit like emotionally for me to get attached before I get to this one mm -hmm. because if I just start from this point I have no frame of reference so like everyone's so hyped and I would be just watching it like if it were any other show so I'm to, like when I get to this one actually be super hyped for it because I already know the characters and yeah that kind of thing so yeah that's that's why okay that's but fine. I'm going to work on it <laughs> yeah yeah I just know you'll enjoy it and the whole, the whole series you'll probably enjoy a lot. I think you will like Fate Zero the most though out of all of it because it's more mature. So 
Yeah, and more and yeah. darker. It's even darker than Fate Stay Night, actually. So you might like that one most. You're probably right. <laughs> but yeah. Um, on on the topic of dark series, and since you are not watching that one, I can use Parasite right now. Oh, I, I know you were going to say that one. <laughs> I want to I watch it though. Watching episode oh. two, like an hour ago. Yeah. I I don't think. You, you are going to enjoy it because it's like it's kind of explicit. It's not like it's super dark or super heavy, especially like now that I watched episode two, the first half of the series had, of, of episode two has no like gore or anything that's very heavy. It's just kind of slice of life ish. No. Uh, but like when, when it gets to the serious bits, it's, it's pretty not down your alley, I don't think. Yeah, thing is, <laughs> I get spoiled anyways, like on Tumblr and all that stuff. And I saw like a, like a face that opens up and eats another face. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like the first half a minute of episode one. Oh, God. <laughs> like you just okay. start with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that's nothing so, for me. <laughs> yeah. So without spoiling anyone, I really liked episode one. I was already very hyped for this series before because I heard great things about the manga and the trailer was pretty good. And it has a great opening as well. <laughs> oh which, yeah, which I, I love the opening. Oh. <laughs> because when loading in Las Vegas. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> so that is pretty, gets me pretty stoked. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely curious to see like where it's going. Mm -hmm. and and like I just I just like where it stopped also at the end of episode one and now at the end of episode two so if you're into that kind of thing and if you were very disappointed with pupil like earlier <laughs> <laughs> just watch watch this one and you might get some of that enjoyment yeah <laughs> and I think that's it for now without um, spoiling anyone yeah next one wait I'm uh, one that I'm really enjoying is uh, Amaji Brilliant Park. I'm really enjoying Oh, that Amaji one. Brilliant Park. Um, kill anyone. Uh, yeah, it's kill anyone, I think. I, yeah, yeah I think so, pretty, yeah. But it's really sure. good. Well, I, I like the comedy in it. And the main character is very uh, sarcastic. Not sarcastic. Just it's really, really dry humor. And I like that, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I like the concept as well. I would say well. that compared to like most of the other main characters I've seen Kyoani do, it's not my favorite at this point. Mm -hmm. But but it's definitely building up, I'd say. Like episode one was exactly what I was expecting. If you already know like what Kyoto Animation usually does, yeah, you knew what you were going to get. And it was fun. It was nothing that was... It didn't blow my mind or anything. It was just exactly what I sat down and wanted to watch. And then with episode two, it, it's starting to like pick up the pace. So I'm definitely going to enjoy it more from now on. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. What What do you like more about that? Just the main character? or No, I like I like how the characters act. And the the fan service that they do have in there doesn't bother me at all. Like, in the first episode, we had, like, that bath scene with the one girl. And it didn't it didn't annoy me at all. I was like, okay, I, I think this is quite funny. So <laughs> it's fine. And I like that there's characters from Full Metal Panic in there. Because that's one of my favorite anime. Um, and... Oh. Yeah, Fimofo is in there, so that's like it was like a side character um, from. I have no Final idea. Panic. That. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it, it's just I don't know. I just had like some nostalgia feelings because Full Metal Panic was one of the first anime that I bought on DVD as well. So yeah, I don't know. It just it just gives me some kind of nostalgia feeling, I guess, because of that, and also because of the park team. I I really like it because it's. I've never yeah. seen that before, so... Yeah, obviously, like, it, it looks great. It sounds great. Like, they have all, all of that going for them, as usual. And I think they have an interesting premise. Yeah. And it's also, like, blatantly fantasy-related from the very first episode. It's not just, like, slice of life or just comedy. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to see how they're going to wrap that up. I'm going to keep watching it's not at all one of the ones that I'm thinking about dropping. Oh yeah, same. So. 
Did you drop anything already? Yeah. At this point? <laughs> what did you drop? Um, I, I dropped Madan no Oto Vanadis, which had a lot of um, uh, fan service and a red haired guy with two white girls being crazy about him. It was, it's weird. I don't know. I don't, I just didn't like it. It was too much fan service yeah. for me. So, <clears throat> and um, I'm thinking about dropping Trinity 7. Because that is a harem with also lots of fan service and the main guy is a pervert, but like super pervert. And um, yeah, there's already people who told me like, Taya, this isn't a show for you. Why are you watching this? And I was like, I don't know. I like to date the life. So I kind of have hope that there's other like guilty pleasures yeah. are there for me that I, I would like. So yeah, I don't know. I, I always want to give it a shot because you never know if I do like it. So but I might actually drop this one. I'm gonna watch the next one, uh, episode three, and if that one isn't satisfying to me, I'll probably just drop it. So, did you see it? No, I didn't see any of those two. Yeah, don't don't watch Trinity Seven. <laughs> the second episode. Yeah, I'm not planning on it. <laughs> the second episode was basically about all the. They are at a magic school, so it's like Day to Life versus uh, Maho Senso. So don't. Don't go there. It's, <laughs> they are at a, a magic school. It really so. doesn't seem like something that I want to watch. No. They are at a magic at school. All. So and, and all the girls were trapped in the main character's um, bedroom. And they all had to pee yeah. at the same time. I was like, what the fuck is this? And so there were some awkward <laughs> moments and fan, a lot of fan service scenes and all that stuff. So I was like, nah. Half of the episode is about this. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I can understand that. I'm, I'm not planning on watching that. And even even less now that I hear your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Just, nope. Uh, no, not, not going there. No. <laughs> I have time for other series then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's so much more series this season that are good. So, I don't yeah. know if it was my turn or yours now. <laughs> Uh, I I was the one asking you about the ones you dropped. I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, well, there's another one that I really like from this season, though, which is uh, Okami Shoujo. Um, the romance anime from this season. I could talk about that for so long. It's it's. But I I'm not sure if I like it or hate it. Aww. <laughs> it's very weird. Oh, well, did you see the second episode? Yeah, I did. Okay. But like I have I have a lot of problems with this show like morally while watching it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like I know it sounds, sounds too deep for shoujo, I know. <laughs> it, like I had I had a stream of tweets just about that <laughs> after episode one. Just like I don't particularly care for like okay, I don't like the main girl at all. Mm -hmm. First of all, I don't like her character. She's like the kind of girl that I would never like want to talk to or be friends with. It's not my type of person. I don't mean to say that she's an awful person or anything like that. Yeah. Like everyone makes bad decisions. Everyone has times in which that they're not proud of in high school or whatever. <laughs> and I'm not even going there doubt that path but I don't I really don't care about her so yeah that makes like her interactions very boring to me because why would I want to watch a girl that I don't really care about trying to keep fake friendships with other girls that I don't care about yeah <laughs> like which is the main basis she's lying so that she can mm -hmm. keep like those two yeah. fake friends mm -hmm. and keep that going and like in that sense, I liked the our oh, right perspective more because you had that, but like really quickly, you understood that like that wasn't making her feel any good or satisfied. Yeah. And in this case, like that's really your objective is keeping that going on. And she gets to the point of getting <laughs> this guy to pretend he's her boyfriend because what's a girl without a boyfriend? Oh my God, if she doesn't have a boyfriend, she's a <laughs> failure. <laughs> yeah. So that's another issue that I have with, with the premise, but I know that like I can accept that representation because there are people that like believe in that. I'm not sure I'd like the show to show that perspective mm -hmm. about relationships, but that's a whole other thing. 
And then the guy, like, I would never date that guy. So, like, from the show trope perspective, having a main guy that you don't want to date is also kind of weird to me. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I think, like, I really enjoy some parts of the episode, but I think that my enjoyment is kind of coming from a feeling of superiority regarding those characters. Yeah. Like, I never do that, and that's really stupid. And I think that's a very mean way to watch a series so that's i think that's the basis of like my struggle watching that series mm -hmm. but that being said like it's really enjoyable at some points it's really fun like just because you know that it's going to go badly yeah i don't know I, i'm just really enjoying it but i like like you said like i wouldn't want to have a friend like that who lies all the time because there's no way you could trust that person but I don't know. I want to see how she's going to develop and maybe not lie anymore because of the guy, maybe like because stuff is going to happen and all that stuff. Um, and at first, like the guy, I was like, he's too perfect. Something is off here. So I was already like, yeah, something is going to happen with those yeah. two. But now in the second episode, I kind of had more respect for him for what he did for her. So yeah. I think that's just going to grow more and more in the series. And I'm kind of looking forward to that and like how they are going to be closer and all that stuff yeah but here's the thing about that as well is that like knowing how this kind of series usually progresses i know that like they're at least going to develop feelings for each other or mm -hmm. like it's it's going to have that direction and uh, like if you look at the basis for that relationship it's a terrible way to start any type of relationship i know so I'm, I'm not really <laughs> sure that i want that to happen oh i like, that's why I want it to happen. I like it that it started that way. It's unusual. It's going to be highly dysfunctional for the rest of their lives. <laughs> it's funny. It's anime. Who cares? I don't think about reality in there. <laughs> I don't know. I just... Something happened when I was watching that anime and, and I started thinking about it very deeply. <laughs> Look, you have, you have the realistic anime, Aoharerite, and this is just the other version, but just unrealistic maybe that's, maybe that's the pro is that i had our horror ride last season no i don't <laughs> yeah exactly probably because that's way more mature for sure i mean there was comedy and our had it died but this comedy is just very different so yeah yeah and how they act towards each other is very different as well they tease each other but it's more in a childish way so it's just uh, like, like yeah. in a horror ride, I feel like if I were any of like the classmates, mm -hmm. I would laugh along because like it's a situation that's funny when when you have like something like that happening, some joke or some gag running. Yeah. And I feel like if I was like one of the classmates or one of the people involved in the funny aspects of that show, I wouldn't enjoy it at all. From Okami? Or... Yeah, because usually that derives from <clears throat> either of them looking bad or something like that yeah but it's different though because the main character is very popular and he's like the king and all that stuff and like in our other night we didn't have that he wasn't like the yeah. most popular guy and he wasn't the cocky guy who thought and he it's was completely everything. different i know it is it's just the girl that the girls kind of have the same problem i guess but in another it's it's still kind of different and they, yeah. they treat it differently <laughs> So, yeah. Well, yeah. There you go. I don't know. I'll have, but I'm, I'm going to watch more anyway. Yeah, like, That's exactly. not a problem. Yeah. I want to know where this goes. I just, I'm just not sure if, I'm, if I feel good with myself while I watch it. <laughs> just don't compare it to our oh, I mean. <laughs> And try not to apply real life to it. Yes. So that's... <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Definitely that. <laughs> Okay. I have one that I really like mm -hmm. this season so far, which is Shingeki no Bahamut. Oh, uh, people have recommended me that one because it's not on my list yet. So I might actually have to check that one. You out. should. Yeah. It's like, it, it, for me, it was the surprise of the season because I wasn't even actually planning to watch it. Mm -hmm. Like just from, from the cover art or the synopsis, I thought this could be something, but it's also not something that was going to force me to watch. And I already had like all the other series that I was going to check out. But then I watched episode one and it was really great. Like for that. me, it feels like a Tarantino movie turned into anime, something like oh. that. 
the way that it's like the art, the the angles, the way that the narration is used feels very like that to me, and sometimes kind of Western as well. So that's been very fun. That's interesting. And it's also Mappa, which they mm. did Zankyo no Terror last season. So like, if you like that show, it's a show that's from the same, basically the same studio. So yeah. that I, I was looking forward to checking that out as well. Okay, I might, yeah, I'm gonna check that one out. There's a few that aren't on my list that I still want to check out. Yeah, like so. for me at this point, that they are doing exactly the kind of like character introduction and character uh, oriented storytelling that I really like. Mm-hmm. So I I would recommend like everyone to watch it, even though like most people aren't what that aren't watching it is because it's based on some sort of game, like card game or something, oh, yeah. something like That's that. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't watch it. I was in the synopsis. I was like, huh? Yeah. I don't know anything about but, it. Like, I don't know anything about the game either, but it, it's not like you have this card game and then you have this anime about a card game. Oh, okay. It's just an anime. There are no cards involved. It doesn't matter. Like, I, I couldn't care the least about where they got the idea from uh-huh. as long as the story is good. And so far, it's really good. Okay. I'm really enjoying it. It's very funny. Oh, it's funny and as well? It's funny as well, and it looks great. <laughs> it looks really great. It has very good opening, all of that. Like, it, it just, so far, has been doing a very, like, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 kind of thing mm-hmm. to me. Like, at this point, of course, I need, yeah. I need to watch the rest. But it's for me, it has one of the strongest beginnings of the whole season. Okay gonna add that to my list (laughs) okay um i oh another one that i'm really enjoying is uh gugure kokiri-san it's not watching that one god yes it's so funny oh my god it's like this this girl on a chibi doll thingy and it has no soul or heart or whatever it's like dead inside and it's like the humor like it's Oh, it's fantastic! You just okay. I'll watch it. it after this. You'll you'll love it. it. Oh, the comedy is so good, and the the guy, like the main guy who plays with the doll, is the voice of Honda from Barakamon and oh. Shizuo from you could, Durarara. You could have told me before that. I'm going to watch it just for that. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, I didn't know you weren't watching it. <laughs> oh no but now i am yeah you I'm, I, i've actually been missing like some very comedy oriented anime i mean i have the shorts like the the dana one the, yeah. the one with the husband yeah I'm and the one with the merman those yeah. are the two that i'm checking out and they are funny for sure but they are shorts it's different i don't yeah but the, the one with the merman i don't think it's that funny to be honest i thought it would be more than that yeah, I, like, I only watched the first two episodes, or did I? Yeah, I did. I watched yeah, the first too. two episodes, yeah. like, out of a whim, just like that. <laughs> so I enjoyed it, but I had no expectations as well. So oh, yeah, it looks okay. way better than I thought it would. Like, it's very pretty. It's very oh, yeah, well it drawn. Yeah, it's, it's also true. full of yaoi innuendos and, like, just subtext. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can just see that. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't know. Like if if they don't do it don't do it like very long, I think it can be okay. But if they try to like stretch it, it will be boring probably. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Do you have another one? But, uh I mean that isn't a season t- two of something because that's an entirely different topic and there are a lot. Yeah. But true. um Shigatsu Akimi no Uso, or the line, Your Lie in April, yeah. or there are several ways to translate uh-huh. that, but I love that first episode, it Me looks too. really, really good. Mm-hmm. Very it pretty as well. It looks great, it sounds yeah. great. Yeah, oh, it is indeed, it's really, really well animated, I really mm-hmm. like it. I really like the movements, like, like from her, Yeah, she was just playing sure. music, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's like... I don't know, it's very uplifting, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of serious. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's going to get a lot more serious, because the first episode, like, they hinted at some problems that the main character has and all of that. Yeah. And But they didn't really explore it all that much yet, so I think it's going to get 
like more serious and more drama filled mm -hmm. but it, it's also like very bright at some points so i i really enjoy the whole mood of that i would definitely recommend that one and not a lot of people are checking it out yeah exactly i wasn't i wasn't going to check it out either but then i I don't know, people recommended it, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot, because normally I'm not really into music anyway, because sometimes it's too much yeah. music, but this one actually has a good story, I feel like, and it kind of had to deal with, like, depression, yeah. and, like, depression and trying to, like, play music again, but not really knowing how to and all that stuff, like, struggling with stuff, and it, it deals with, like, really serious stuff, and then you have music that makes everything better, so... It's like stuff you can relate yeah. to, and I I like it how it is now. So I'm excited for the next episodes as well for that one. Same, and that's one of the few that still hasn't gotten an episode two of the ones that I'm watching. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, I really want that. <laughs> Do you have another one to mention? Um, Nanatsu no Taizai, uh, Seven Deadly Sins. That's a, a new shonen that came out this season. Um, it's uh, a lot of people compare it with fairy tale the beginning, but it's it's not gonna be like that at all, <laughs> from what I've heard. Um, it's it's a whole different thing. But um, so far I'm liking it. There's a lot of comedy in there. The main guy is kind of pervy as well, but it's acceptable. It's not like it's like pervy in a masteroshi way, I'd say like that way. So it's like funny, and you don't mind because the guy is actually older than he looks. So I mean it's. It's yeah. a difference, and I don't, I don't know, I like the concept so far, there's only two episodes out, but if you want a, a new shonen com that's coming out, because, you know, Hunter x Hunter stop, you can always check out this one yeah. for this season, I guess, so I do recommend this one, and I hope it's gonna be 24 episodes, but I've heard they had, uh, have enough, like, material to do more than 24, so I'm hoping this will be a long-running one, so yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I have to see it as well. <laughs> yeah. And I think the last one that I'm going to mention, so that the episode doesn't get too too mm -hmm. long for us, is going to be one that I watched with, with a lot of friends, and that was very fun. Which was Ore Twin Tales Ni Narimas. Oh, I which didn't is see that one. <laughs> it's hilarious because, like, it's not serious <laughs> at all. It's it's kind of like making making fun of that, the style of shows that are kind of. It's kind of between Super Sentai and Magical Girl, and and that sounds weird, I know, but the main guy is, is a male, and then when he loves girls that have twin tails or, or oh, okay. like tails, whatever you want to call it, and there's this thing in which like there's this power that starts to destroy the twin tails of the world, <laughs> and basically he has the power to. to defend that because he loves it and like it's kind of weird oh my God. but then like when he transforms he transforms into a girl with twin tails and like it's it's like a super sentai with twin tail girls <laughs> it's, it's, it's it sounds very weird but it, like it doesn't take itself seriously at all so mm -hmm. it's really really hilarious to watch and that was a very big surprise to me as well and i i didn't expect to watch it and i didn't expect to like it when I watched it, so yeah. now I have to watch that more as mm. well. Interesting. And no, it's like it's making fun of the whole genre, but but tastefully. It's not just like walking it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like if you if you like that kind of satire, I'd say go for it. It's very meta. Oh yeah, I might just watch the first episode and see whatever I'll think yeah. about it's it. It's not for everyone. I don't think everyone is going to enjoy it, mm -hmm. but. For me, it was very fun. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for for now. Because like, there's a lot I still want to recommend, but I just have too much on my list. And we don't have the time to do that. So Yeah. And <clears throat> in any case, like we, we can do a, a middle season discussion on the series and mention the ones that we didn't mention yet as mm -hmm. well. And we can mention the ones so. we dropped. I'll probably, I'll probably will. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I can, we can let you know that then. Um, whenever we exactly. make a new video, we will not have a date for that. <laughs> yeah, we're, that's, that's the news for today. We're not going to, to give you the, the topic for next week because we don't know if there's a next week episode. Exactly. It will be a surprise <laughs> every, every week. 
Surprise. But you still you still need to check it out and see if we have a new episode out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just have to click on YouTube. It's not that hard. <laughs> We might have random live streams here and there. Who knows? So you'll, you'll just have to check out Twitter. <laughs> yeah, we still we'll, we'll still do that when we get to like the the five or zero numbered episodes, yeah. which we probably need to do one soon, actually. So I think we have to do two Keep... almost three <laughs> something. I don't know. We're just going to live stream a whole week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's gonna happen with shitty internet like ours. <laughs> nope, it's not. It's definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways, yeah. we'll see you guys next time, whenever the time is. You'll yeah. see whenever it's up on Twitter or on yeah. YouTube. So, yeah. <laughs> and thanks for staying with us. <laughs> exactly. So, we hope you enjoyed this yeah. video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know, you start moving your hands around, but in the same. <laughs>